It's the battle line rivalry on CBS. Missouri has owned the rivalry in recent years. Winners of five straight seeking their first seven plus win season since 2018. Arkansas already matched their win total from the previous three seasons combined with seven looking for their first eight win season since 2015. It was a defensive battle early, but Arkansas started to move the ball. KJ Jefferson over the middle to Traylon Burks wide open stumbles falls down at the seven yard line. But that's a gain of 43 yards. How do you fall down if you trail on Burks? But <laughs> good thing he's a superstar. He's good. He's going to get another opportunity to put the ball in the paint. And you see that. He's already had more receiving yards than the rest of the team in the first half. Raheem Sanders finishes off the drive. Arkansas up 10-3 after the made extra point, capping off an eight-play 76-yard drive. Razorbacks then rolled in the second half, early third quarter. Jefferson to Devion Warren on the screen pass, and he is off to the races. Off to the races, but will get walked down. You can't allow that to happen, but it sets up another score for the Razorbacks. I was going to say, at least the teammates <laughs> are picking these guys up. Traylon Smith takes the ball, gets in for the four-yard score. Arkansas up 17 to 6. Three plays, 61 yards on that drive. Fifth rushing touchdown of the season for Smith. Next Arkansas possession, Jefferson. Down the left sideline, finds Burks, this time Staying on his feet. There you go. See, that double move put that defensive back's hips, feet, and pride in conflict. He couldn't keep up. Easy touchdown for Burks. Tenth career game with 100-plus receiving yards, second most in school history for Burks. Missouri overcame a 14-point deficit last season versus Arkansas for the win. Could they do it in this one? No. Connor Bazelik picked off by Monteric Brown. Arkansas defense shutting it down in the second half. The ensuing Razorbacks drive. It's Burks taking the handoff, pitches to Sanders, and sneaks inside the right pylon for the touchdown. Arkansas up 34 to 9 after the made extra point. And the Hogs have their first eight win regular season in quite a while, snapping the five game losing streak to Missouri dating back to 2015. Arkansas 3-0 in trophy games for the first time in program history, so a lot going right for Arkansas this season. 34-17 the final, finishing the regular season 4-1 in their last five games. Arkansas favored by 14 and a half. They cover that spread, but it was a great season, really great season for Arkansas. I guess you could say they showed Missouri, right? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I, I had to want to get it. I had to. <laughs> Steve Gelb joined by Emery Hunt. Once again, I have to say it every time we, we come. Just I feel I feel inferior today with that style versus this. Hey man, I'm not we, even wearing a tie. I mean, we, what am I doing here? We go from Thanksgiving to you know Black Friday, and now it's Christmas season. So <laughs> I had to do it up for for uh, you know the season. All right. Season. So so you're bringing it with the fashion, also with the analysis. Just first and foremost, main takeaway from this Arkansas win. Great defensive battle for for Arkansas. Great job by their defense because if you woke up from a food coma from Thanksgiving and just saw this box score, you think Missouri runs the triple option because you saw 219 yards rushing, but a quarterback in 2021 with 65 yards passing. That is phenomenal defense by Arkansas. They said, hey, we'll let you run the football, run yourself tired, run the clock down, but we won't let you do anything else offensively. And that was a great defensive strategy today against Missouri. You know, I mentioned first time they've won eight games since since 2015. And Arkansas just the last couple of years just, you know, tack on another win, another win, another win. Seems to be getting better and better. Uh, what has Sam Pittman done to, to turn this, um, this program around? Yeah, that's a good question. I think the biggest thing he's done is get guys to buy in. It's hard to get college athletes, especially those young ones, 18, 19, you talk about freshmen and sophomores, to really buy into a program. And in some cases, those older guys, those redshirt seniors, he's getting everybody to buy in. And now they're starting to see that success happen. And when that happens, the buy-in becomes stronger. And now you're able to recruit better. Your program recruits itself for you. So it's less you have to do as a coach. So I think he's gotten everyone to really buy into what he's saying. The success is being shown out there on the field. They're winning. And now Arkansas is starting to position themselves to slowly move up that SEC West rankings. Once again, the final score, Arkansas defeating Missouri 34-17 to move to 8-4 on the season. First eight-win season in quite 
a long time. And yeah, Tyler Beatty got his, as he always does for Missouri, 41 attempts, 219 yards on the ground, but it didn't matter. They let him do his thing and shut down everything else. We head back out to Fayetteville now and talk to Jenny Dell, who was on the sidelines for this one. Jenny, uh, what was your main takeaway from this game? I mean, big takeaway are these guys are playing for Sam Pittman. They love Sam Pittman. I was just hearing what Emery was saying about them, and it couldn't be more true. This team is bought in. They are really supported by this Arkansas fan base, and if you look at how much fun they were having on the sideline, especially when the score got a little higher, you would know that this team is, is, is here for good. First time in program history that they've won three trophy games. Now, obviously, this one today versus Texas A&M earlier this season and versus LSU. I know they talked about that this week, but the, the sense that you got from the, the players on this team, how much does something like that mean to this group? Oh, it matters. I was told that that was the main motivation for the game here today. And I, coach didn't even let the players know. They had the other two trophies waiting for them in the locker room, and they're going to celebrate with all three. And, and for some reason, the players are very excited to put suits on and take photos in front of all three trophies. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Normally, they do their team photo in their pads and kind of old school. So that's what they're looking forward to now. And I'm sure they're back there in the locker room having a great time. Yeah, I'm sure. I love that. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Jenny. Del, thank you so much for the insight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Once again, Arkansas, 25th ranked Arkansas, taking care of business, beating Missouri 34 17. Missouri had won the previous five games between these two. Arkansas, a program on the rise, though, gets its eighth win of the season. Barrett Salee. This is what we've all been waiting for. So we've gotten, we've gotten Emery Hunt's take on the game. We've gotten Jenny Dell's take on the game. What's your take on the game today? Well, just that this Arkansas, Jenny mentioned it, this Arkansas team is for real. They're on the rise, and they do it their own way. And it's interesting because this team is what they wanted Brett Bielema's Arkansas teams to be. They just weren't as well coached as this one. Sam Pittman getting those big uglies up front on both sides of the ball, controlling the line of scrimmage. It's what he's been able to do consistently uh, this year. And they're recruiting on a very different level than they have been in years past. And so because of that, I think this is going to be an attractive school for a lot of these kids to go to. Do you want to be a backup at Alabama for a couple years? Or do you want to start as a freshman or a redshirt freshman at Arkansas? I think at this point, you can look at Arkansas and say, hey, you know what? Not only can I win at a reasonably high level there, but I can play and, and put a bunch of tape out there for NFL scouts. So the offensive line's done a great job. Sam Pittman, uh, Jenny mentioned taking pictures with the trophies in suits. That's the kind of community, and that's the kind of, of attitude that this program has. They are together. They're one family. And I don't think that's going to change from year to year with Sam Pittman there because that's what he is. That's the kind of person he is. So really impressive performance today against Missouri. A really pr pr uh, impressive performance. Eight wins in year two for Pittman. And this program, you know, we talked about it at halftime. Uh, they might not beat you every time, but they're going to beat you up every time. Very, very impressive season for Arkansas as all three of our analysts attest to once again they beat Missouri in the regular season finale, 34-17. to 17. Rivalry week just getting started, though. Huge one on Saturday, 3.30. Game of the week here on CBS, number three, Alabama at Auburn, also known as the Iron Bowl. Alabama, huge favorites, but weird things happen in these games, and Alabama desperately needs to win if they want to make that college football playoff. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.